Well, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Polani. I guess it's the, um, the first in the month of December. Uh, in Nigeria, we specialize over the months, uh, over the years, I think, suddenly there's a happy new month and happy first Sunday. And uh, okay, so happy first Monday on uh, TEM. <laughs> okay, um, t today we we'll look at um, the upcoming election in Rivers, the rerun. Uh, for a number of uh, elective uh, positions in River State. And um, the governor, Isam Wiki, he's been saying some quite controversial things. In fact, he's taken on the police and INEC, accusing them directly in no uncertain terms of um, planning to collude to rig the election. Indeed, asking people to resist uh, law enforcement. Uh, because um, the people of Rivers will not be taking for a ride, will not be taking for granted. Nobody can pull the wool over our eyes. And we have, this is a governor here. I mean, he's a chief security officer. These, you know, so that's probably why it's a bit more controversial than if anybody else had um, said it. Um, this is coming on the heels, as you probably know, of um, police arresting people, uh, some people, you know, saying that um, they were printing up fake election materials. So all of this, the, 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 the approach to the election in Rivers has been anything but um, smooth. The APC, the ruling APC, has responded to Governor Wike's utterances as, um, you know, maybe some psychiatric help might not be out of order. So we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. Um, but let me just tell you, my guest this morning is uh, Libros Ashama. Thank you very, very much, Barrister Shama, for coming on. My pleasure, always. Uh, heady, heady days in, 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 in Imo, or uh, are we making too much of this? Well, can one see this as grandstanding? He says, I, uh, the governor, as you know, says, don't care if you go and bring the Marines. Go and bring the Marines. It's not going to happen here. Uh, the people will resist what he conceives of as a, of as a ploy to rig the elections, and specifically accusing the police and INEC. Um, mind you, he's not, um, he's not new in this game. And, and so, <laughs> Rivers had always been in the news for the wrong reason in every election. And until um, the 2015 election, a lot of people didn't know that in Rivers, you know, from 1999 to 2015, usually in Rivers there are no elections. In Rivers states, for, you know, because the, if, you, if you remember, they had always been in one camp. And that's the states that, you know, pre-2015 usually gives PDP landslides and mudslides. That's right, that's right. And so that was the state also where, you know, everybody that registered in a particular local government in 2003 voted and they all voted for PDP, if you remember. And so at that time, there were no quarrels because the major gladiators were in the same party. Mm. And so it was easy mm -hmm. for all of these you know, to be swept under the carpet. And, and also, be made into a family yeah, affair. A family affair. And then also in 2015, if you remember at the polls, all of them kept asking for one thing, the resort sheets. And the current minister, who was then governor, said the uh, minister for transport, Amechi, said that uh, while he was um, asked why the resort sheet, he said, look, it is uh, those with resort sheets that usually wins election in rivers. And, and so also to lay credence to the fact that, you know, what I've been saying, that there are no, usually no elections in this place. And so, we also know how controversial the election that brought uh, years on Wiki into office was, you know, and um, it took um, the intervention, you know, um, though, um, till date, some people still see it as mischievous of the Supreme Court, you know, to douse that tension. An attempt at conducting Another election in Rivers did not see the light of the day because he failed. And, and so now the drums are gradually beating again. Mm. Typical of the politician, the drums are gradually beating. You hear the governors, you know, saying uh, there, initially there were allegations that some APC members were printing ballot papers somewhere. And then also allegations that his uh, security had been withdrawn. Yes. And, and then now that there is a um, grand plan by the APC and the um, police to rig that election. But, but, These but, usually uh, are songs you hear. Uh, but, but, but this is, uh, in, uh, he's, a, he's a governor. I mean, yes. he, uh, he's looked up to. And um, there are those you can't 
blame for maybe not being able, able to think for themselves, just saying what our leader says must be right. So isn't that the danger? I mean, he has a responsibility perhaps, you know, in addition to that of governance, also a public responsibility to public morality. You can't ask people to resist law enforcement. Um, you, you see, uh, these are the kind of reckless statements that um, our quote and unquote leaders, you know, that's why I refer to them as rulers, uh, make. And then, because um, depending on the side of the divide you belong to, it is easy to wish them away. No matter how, um, how, how concerned he feels, um, now telling people to take laws into their hands. Mm -hmm. Remember, he to, made, well, his, to resist. Yeah, he made uh, a statement. He made a statement in Edo also during uh, the PDP uh, grand campaign. Uh, you know, um, and, and and so it is. It is very uh, on. It's becoming of governors. Mm -hmm. You know, to begin to make inciting statements like that, exactly. and also it's not novel. Most of these things are, 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 are <laughs> happening today. You know, had always been with us. Be, be, because uh, he's actually uh, inadvertently advocating a crime. That, resisting, for instance, arrest, if there is a need for arrest. Resisting arrest, you lawyers tell us that's a crime separately, right yes, there. Yes, yes. And, and so that's why, for me, you politicians make statements, bogus statements like these, because, you know, we are still where we are in terms of um, elections and electoral mm. practices. Mm -hmm. And so you find that politicians Maybe even our raise democracy, alarm. Our democracy as well, uh, such as it yes. is, the Nigerian version of it. Of the of democracy. And that's why we still say we vote and our votes are not allowed to count. Last week we were here, you know, recounting what happened in Ondo. And, you know, by, by next week, uh, by this week, Saturday, reverse will go to the polls. And already the drums of war you know, it's beaten. Um, and one would have expected that by now it should be about drums of uh, achievements, drums of what would be done differently. But because our election is what it is, mm. and so it gives room for manipulation, it gives room for people to well, attempt to clone, attempt to manipulate, attempt to snatch ballot boxes. This day and age, you still hear people planning to snatch ballot boxes. One moment, please. We're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be right back. We'll continue this, and we'll take your calls on the propriety or otherwise politics notwithstanding of actually advocating uh, the commission of a crime. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Uh, upcoming election in uh, River State, uh, rerun election for Senate and House of Representatives. Um, my guest, uh, Barrister Libros Oshema. Libros, maybe a little background uh, might be in place to how we arrived at uh, a, a rerun. Yeah, um, you remember um, the just initially at the tribunal. The tribunal was uh, formally headed by I think Justice Pindigi. Uh, le the, let me uh, please hold your thought. Let me bring in uh, Richard, who wants to join the conversation. Uh, good morning, Richard. Good morning, Mr. Yori. Please go ahead. Good, well, bros. Good morning. Good morning, Richard. Yes, I, I, you see this issue on ground on con concerning rivers. We should um, be very careful with the way we. We, we respond to various allegations coming from rivers. Because there's a way we will, be, we will respond. It will look like as if we are supporting the government in illegality. And there is also a way we will respond. It will look like as if we are encouraging the sitting government at the state level to take laws into their hands. But having said that, is the sitting government in River State, what they are alleging that the federal is coming up with, the federal ruled APC is coming up with, is it true? If it is not true, what the APC is saying that the sitting governor at the moment is coming up with, is it true? Now, if you listen to the governor this morning from his own allegations, from, it, from the petition he said he has written to the IG of police, 
why did the IG not respond to his petitions? Now, if the IG refused to respond to his petitions, what does the IG expect him to do as the chief security officer of the state? Having said this, I'm not taking side with him, but I also want us to look at the divide, both divide of the coin. All right, when then. Thank you very much for calling in, Richard. Appreciate your call. That's what we're looking at. We, we just started um, <laughs> the... Uh, and, and so for the background, uh, if you remember Justice Pindiga's uh, first panel, and then uh, subsequently he was ousted, and uh, you all know the story of that um, election petition, Tribunal in Rivers, moved to Abuja. Um, ousted um, some members of the House of Assembly, almost the entire House of Assembly, um, some members of the Senate, and then uh, some members of the House of Rep. And for the benefit of our viewers, for those elections, uh, the election petition tribunal terminates at the Court of Appeal, including that of the governor also at that time, it was um, also after. Until was, the governor's office was saved by the Supreme Court. Mm. And then INEC attempted conducting elections into these various offices, and it failed woefully. So for the House of Assembly, some results were declared. And though, but for the others, INEC suspended the declaration of results because of the same issues of ballot box snatching, you know, widespread violence, you know, and counter accusations are counter accusations on both sides, and the elections was declared inconclusive. And then um, there were accusations, both the PDP spokesperson and the APC spokesperson, there were accusations from both camps. And, and so, if now that elections are approaching, and I, I said it, in Rivers, it's a peculiar case, and these are people who know the way they do their thing. And this is also not the first time. In Edo, 29,000 policemen were deployed. And so we need to note that. In, um, in um, Ondo, about um, 25,000 policemen were also deployed. Mm -hmm. And now, in Rivers, the police is also saying that we are going to deploy 20-something uh, thousand policemen. And even though we had queried the consistent deployment of the engineers have created the consistent deployment of security personnel, mm -hmm. and we wish that a day will come when we go to the pool without shutting down the entire state. Yeah. But also, the attitude of our politicians had given, you know, the security operatives, you know, the 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 power to do what they usually do: deploy policemen. Because you know, this attitude of you know, seeing election as a do or Yes, that. their behavior. The police the, have to you, come out and know, maintain the peace. And, and then also people... One, one moment, please. I beg your pardon. Because uh, in the meantime, uh, Eze Chuku has come on. Eze Chuku is in Alagbole, uh, Akute. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Yori. Thank you for calling in. Yeah, Mr. Libros, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Eze Chuku. Yeah, the problem we have in this country is the kind of people that we, we occupy uh, political position in this country. I'm sorry to say this. Uh, you may not agree with me, but I've, I've followed uh, Governor Wike right from when he was a minister, uh, uh, minister of self-education. The governor of River State behaves like a thug. I'm sorry to use that word term in your program, but that is a typical well, example you, of you, that. Thank, thank you for your apologizing to the program. You can't call a sitting governor a thug. You know. I understand you. Please continue. Okay, uh, he, he's gone, but, um, uh, well, uh, Governor Wiki perhaps follows his own mind a lot. Yeah, 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 he, but, he follows his own mind a you, lot. You, and, um, so, for, for me, you, you, you find out that, you know, the politicians, they need to be, you know, a reevaluation of their modus operandi. They need to reassess, you know, their method. Because if police keep insisting that we deploy uh, personnel to keep peace, and to ensure that, you know, yeah, yeah, lives and properties are saved because of the antics of the politicians. Mm. There's need for the politicians also to up their game to say, look, we want to ensure that also we collaborate with the security personnel to ensure that nobody is intimidated and all of these uh, allegations against us are not, you know, uh, allowed to see the light of the day. But also, if you look at this same issue, if you remember the DSS case, um, Wiki was alleged to have used the police commissioner. I was going to go there. That Governor Wiki uh, injected himself onto the scene when the judges were when some judges were raided. Yes, and then uh, um, uh, also used some the police commissioner and some police to foil 
that attempt, uh, attempted uh, arrest. And that um, they were, he was accused also of escorting, um, there were allegations that uh, the police commissioner was used to escort, you know, whatever the DSS came looking for out of the premises, mm -hmm. you know. Um, as bogus as that allegation might be, but also now is the same police <laughs> that Wiki is now blaming. The yeah. same police, remember? Well, uh, accusing. Yes. Uh, uh, accusing of being in cahoots with yeah. INEC. Yes. Remember, the federal government at that time had blamed Wiki yes. and, the, and the police. Now, Wiki had turned around to blame the same police and um, INEC. That's why, for me, it's a very difficult time to be a policeman. Indeed. One moment, please. Um, uh, Apostle Diamond. Good morning, sir. In uh, Alagbo, no, is that? No, Iba. Iba, Lagos State here. Good morning. Uh, Chief Yori, good morning. <laughs> Just Yori, good morning, sir. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm my brother. Yeah. Please contribute Apostle, to... Apostle, I agree to you. Uh, you see, the problem here is that uh, I've decided to sit down and watch the scenario. Please don't to what is going on participate. In but uh, with uh, what I heard of Wiki this morning on the uh, channels, one of your uh, is it channels? Yes, channels this morning. I laughed because of, uh, you don't encroach into the law enforcement agent activities. And as a sitting governor, we should be able to respect ourselves and uh, add the quorum, find needs to whatever we are doing to govern the state. And uh, for me, I've, uh, I've looked at it from the, the, this tall perspective. All political uh, appointees, either governor, legislators, those legislators both at federal and state level, mm -hmm. commissioners, they should re reduce their salaries and allowances. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The Senate should be, should, should be, should be exposed from our constitution. Uh, uh, okay, but, but Apostle Diamond, talking about the River State rerun coming up on That's Saturday. The, you see the River State rerun. I really appreciate what the law enforcement agencies are doing. Pumping uh, the police into that axis because of uh, what we've been experiencing there for a very long time. It's a welcome uh, development. But at the same time, they need to step up their activities so that they would not look at them or see them as being uh, partisan. Am I communicating? That is the way I see it. All right, then, and Apostle they Diamond. Also, reduce crime. I'm from Nanja Delta, so I know much about that, the crime in that axis very well to the Bumadi, Patani, to come back to uh, rivers from Okrika to uh, whichever, the Kwe tribe, uh, 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 Abonema, and that sort of thing. So I believe the government on, in, on ground should be able to work in uh, 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 hands in the... Uh, there should be a synergy between the federal and the state government. Okay. To, to allow security, to allow peace to reign, and there should be security. All right, then. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Apostle Diamond, for calling in. Appreciate your call. Um, allow for peace to reign? Yeah, uh, of course. Chief Security Officer, but the point is, he is on record as calling on the people of Rivers to resist what he seems as unfair interference. Yes, um, really, and really. We're really talking about the about really, law enforcement here. Yes, really. Um, uh, that's also where I will call on um, the law enforcement agents to refuse to be allowed, one, to be intimidated, mm -hmm. and then also to be used. One moment. We'll go on a quick break. We'll come back and you develop on that theme. Stay with us, please. Welcome back. We're looking at, uh, well, sort of, uh, at least to go by the rhetoric, turbulent times as we approach the um, election on Saturday, the rerun election in River State on Saturday for um, House of Assembly members 
representatives and um, senators. Um, the governor has admonished his people to resist what he sees as unfair interference. That's worrying, him being a chief security officer. Uh, but I suppose it's all in, you know, in the context of politics. He probably doesn't see himself as um, inciting the people. Um, he, and it's not just um, the police, it's also INEC that the governor has lumped together as, um, and told his people to shine their eyes where well and resist any uh, untoward uh, interference. But uh, uh, I don't know. There are so many other things. Uh, something has become uh, Eddie Buesebe. <laughs> we began to hear of this term. No, 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 I, I was building up on um, the security personnel refuse, should refuse themselves, uh, should, should, should not be intimidated. And then also they should I, not... I, I, um, I beg your pardon. Could you just hold your thought? While we were on break, Mr. George was holding on right okay. up until now. Good morning, Mr. George. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you very much for calling in. Yes, and good morning to Olibros. Ah, good morning, Uncle George. Uncle Yori, um, this is what you get when you have a corrupt judiciary in a country. This man did not... Everybody knows that there was no election in Rivers. The tribunal... Uh, you know, pronounced a judgment that there was no election. The Court of Appeal disqualified him. But at the Supreme Court, we were surprised when the Supreme Court said that this man is governor. And there is no other court to go after Supreme Court. If he is popular as he is claiming to be, why is election in that place always violent? One has just happened in uh, Onduna. There was no violence there. In Edo, there was no violence. Why is it always in reverse? We have not... I remember, I recall in 2015, there was a report where about 93 people were said to have been killed during that governorship election in River State. Nobody is talking about those 93 families now that lost their people. And the main culprit is here again, inciting people. He's not inciting people, Uncle Yuri. What you must know is he is talking to his dogs, and they, I dare say that this is what they should do when election comes. I remember the last time when the election was to take place, the rerun election. He asked our next staff who were coming to write their will before they come. <laughs> I think it is about time we should review our laws, mm -hmm. especially the one concerning immunity for governors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Many of our governors are taking it for granted. Indeed. The Thank government you. should do whatever is possible to make sure that there is election in that river and the popular candidates should win. Thank you and very much. And then disregard the threats of this governor. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. George, for calling in. Uh, well, I, I, I suppose I, I buy into um, especially the end of what mm, Mr. Yes, George um, said. That's that um, you, you, law enforcement is law enforcement. Yes, law, law enforcement should ensure, like I said, they should ensure that they are not intimidated and also they should, ref they should refuse to be used by anybody well, because... Well, 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 he, um, you know, the caller, somebody called in and um, said that um, uh, Governor Wiki had said that he had petitioned the Inspector General of Police, yes. had not got a response and that kind of a thing. Uh, yes, um, even the, the allegation did start from the petition. He also had said that his security details were withdrawn and that um, they, were, they discovered a place where um, APC members were cloning um, um, sensitive INEC materials. And that so all these are part of the petitions that he wrote. Even though APC also had come out to say that um, these um, um, allegations or those alleged to have been caught were actually people from PDP. There have been accusations mm -hmm. and counter accusations. Mm -hmm. So also I had expected the IG of police, no matter, you know, for what it is worth, to say, okay, we are investigating the okay. matter or we are looking into it. Mm -hmm. But we have kept quiet. No, no, matter how frivolous, no matter how frivolous he thinks yes. the, the petition is. Yes, because it, all these ones we are talking about here, Wiki is in the limelight. Then you have an Amechi who is not in the limelight, mm. but also who is also a major stakeholder in all of this election. So mind you, and so these are people who had worked together. And then, so what, it, the ordinary man on the street in Rivers that we suffer if security is not taken seriously, because you, what you have now is almost like a balance of terror. Indeed. In it, a, one moment, please. One moment. I beg your pardon. Um, because um, the, uh, Mr. Suleiman in Abuja, good morning. Thank you for holding on. 
Thank you, uh, Uncle Yori. Thank you, sir. Uh, and it's my pleasure, and I must say congratulations to me for calling on live program in TVC for the first time, sir. Oh, we're so glad to have you, Mr. Suleiman. Yeah, I'm your fan. Um, sir, I think from the guests and the speakers, most of them have spoken my mind, and they have gladdened my heart this morning. Uh, without missing words, Uncle Yori, I must tell you that uh, Governor Wike, for me, is a violent man. Sorry to use that word if, 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 if I didn't use it correctly, but I must tell you that he's a violent uh, somebody, right? He took his gospel of violence in the Edo State. And Edolite, having, uh, I mean, enlightened people, they are enlightened people, they refuse his gospel. Election was conducted in Edo State, even Rat was not killed. Hallelujah to that. He took that same gospel to own those states. I give it to Governor Mimiko. As a sitting governor, his candidate lost election. One single life was not lost. Even rat was not killing on those states. I bet you this is not obtainable in River State with which as a governor. I'm telling you this. Because if you want to agree with me that this man is a violent man, when he's speaking on television, be watching him. Did he speak as a governor? So aggressive? So, in fact, he, he, he don't know how to even conduct himself when, he, when in public. Are you hearing me? And now, I, I sympathize with the commissioner of police, whom he used to go and, uh, and foil that attempt to arrest that, that judge. Mm. Now he's working, I mean, he's exposing and ridiculing the same commissioner of police, telling people that he has a dig on how the man wants to rig election in River State. Now the commissioner of police should now learn a lesson. Because he connived with him the other time to go and foil an attempt by DSS to arrest that judge. And now he's turning back to say that this man wants to rig election in River State. Everybody knows that whenever there's election in River State, there must be violence. Up to now, in my phone, I still have that picture of one uh, APC store called Franklin Obi that they removed his face. I still have that picture, very gory picture. Mm. This can happen in River State. Mm. I've never seen it anywhere in Nigeria. So, I mean, just like one of your callers say, uh, it's high time we should review our immunity. Some of these governors are abusing this immunity of a thing. They uh, think that they can do and undo. All right, they think Mr. that they Simon. may be their own right. Please, we should remove, uh, review this immunity so that people like Nixon Wiki should know that they have fun. Thank you so much. Good morning. Thank you very much for calling in, you know. All opinions that you know of the caller, um, a violent man is how he thinks he is. Yeah, so, yeah. That, that, that Politicians in Nigeria are, are largely violent, generally violent, and that's why they see election as do or die. They can kill if you step on their way in an attempt to grab her, and, and, and so you see all of them do the same thing. That's why I was talking about balance of terror here. Before in 2015, we keyed in to the government at the center. And, and so, Amechi, who was a governor, seemingly looked help helpless. Mm. But now that you have the, gov the Wiki, the reverse is the case now. And so you hear Wiki complaining that, you know, government at the center is trying to muzzle him because he knows how they do it. But for me, and that's where the security operatives should come in and try as much as they can to ensure that they protect Indeed. the ordinary man. And not be intimidated. And not be intimidated. Uh, uh, Mr. Yakub from Dokwemu, good morning, sir. Thank you, thank you, and good morning. And then, uh, Oshamama, good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, Alaji Yaku. Uh, is it, Shizori? This is a law of karma. Why am I saying that? <laughs> All of us remember uh, Mr. Ubu, former commissioner of police. Exactly in, uh, what Libros has just finished saying. Yes. Is it, Shizori? Why now the shoe is on the other foot. Uh, no, sir. Are you hearing me? Loud and clear. Fine. When you are doing something, believing that you'll be there for life, forgetting that it's only God Almighty Allah that is it is there, and then we never be removed. You see, when we are when the, the Amaki in the other side, do you know what they do to the man? But today now, if Governor Wick is claiming that he's so popular, because I watched him live on Channel Television yesterday, the way the government talk, the two lap colours can be talked you see, this immunity of a thing, I, 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 I'm using this opportunity to urge uh, Ochomama and uh, laborers in that studio. If a, a station where right there, the station where right there, a Nigerian lawyer, a group of people can gather together to make sure we remove that immunity. Because the person of Dr. Wayne, you should be okay. Don't have that state and the final share of this one, they are being misused this very particular law. In respect of the position they take, they are into today. Uh, Chief Jerry, if election come tomorrow in that state, I can bet you, Chief Jerry, they will be clear people. 
Because when the government talks, it's not really you'll be fear for your life if you are part of that uh, process. Indeed. And maybe you are of this year, you'll be fear for your life because the, the government is inciting people, you should receive this. So it does not forget, it's, it's, it could not forget that they use the same police oh, okay. to arrest okay, some okay. other people. When the election come over then that time, she you are regarded on my receptors in this country and she will send the government to jail. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yakub. Um, uh, really, that, that, uh, that, that's it. But I, you, yes, I, I, I know I you want to point. Saying, but I was, I, was, I was saying that where is performance in all of this? So that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what issued um, I had expected. If, if it's like who's, who, who's scared society, of elections? If who's afraid of elections? If we're in Sena societies, performance would be the benchmark for measuring you know, popularity and then for re-electing or electing officials. But here, yeah, uh, WK should not be too bothered about um, uh, uh, sec uh, security and all of that. It should concentrate. There's a new, there's a new, a new uh, frontier. A new frontier, <laughs> because that's why you saw the Edo election. Yes, Ondo also followed. Um, what you call Edibo uh, Sebe. Uh, um, that's what he should be worried about. You, because so even, money, you, you, yes, you've money, come to the issue of yes, money, money, which, by the way, is another illegality when yes, it comes to elections. Yes, it was introduced in a, it has been on before now. But what happened was in Edo, unlike before, where you give money and then you really don't know who the person actually voted for. But now you give money before you give, you ensure that the person voted for the candidate, you know, of your choice before they give. And even in Ondo, we also saw it. And, and so, and, and for that now, INEC seems, you know, the, the INEC is no longer taking the flank. It's like INEC did their best, but the politician will always do their thing. And, and so, if it's now about money, the police will easily look the other way. Theirs is to protect life and properties. Hmm. And so, if there is no violence, to them, they see no reason why they should disturb anybody. And, but also, that is an offense on its own. And so, that's where, for me... And if anybody were to move in to sort of, you know, confront that situation, either INEC... You will create a crisis. You, you create or a the cri police, you, you possibly could you create a crisis. create a very serious crisis that, you know, might lead to loss of lives. And, and so, and that's why, for me, we need to begin to evolve a system of voting where it will be difficult for you to even know who, you know, a voter voted for. Or where it will be difficult for people to still contemplate snatch, snatching or ballot boxes. Because if you have the, in, in, in the novelty that INEC introduced with the card reader, one would have expected that by now we should have perfected that act and take, you'd be contemplating electronic voting, mm. even if it means marrying it with manual voting, mm. you know. But yet we're still grappling with internet facility for the card readers, not to even take. Uh, uh, talk of taking it a notch further. And so that's why politicians will still be beating drums of war in every election. And INEC should be very careful not to expose his staffs to the crossfire. You, 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 you know, people, people are at least two, you know, Mr. Suleiman said it and uh, the uh, couple of people who had spoken before, I think Mr. George alluded to the matter that one just hopes that it will go as, as safely as it went in Ondo and uh, Edo before him. But people are they, they, they're a bit apprehensive. Because? Because of the... Uh, because of in the... Baeza, in Baeza, it was almost like a balance of terror. In uh, Rivers also. In Rivers had consistently been in the eye of the storm. And mind you, it's not about... It's, I don't think this is all about uh, power. It's more of an ego thing also. Because this well, started, which is a form of power. Yes. A, 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 because this a started sense, long a perception ago. of power. This but, started... But, but, you know, uh, uh, let me come back so you can have the time to expand on the issue. Stay with us, please. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So, home stretch now. And um, whereas where we hope the dire predictions that we're hearing about rivers, that uh, we just hope that there will be no bloodshed, no bloodshed at, at all. Uh, while we, we keep that alight, maybe we can remember that Governor Wiki 
and Amechi, for instance. We're yes. very, 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 cli very close you, associates. You, you, you see, in, in, in fact, they have a history. And that's why I, I will, I will consistently, you know, call on the security personnel to refuse to be intimidated or used by anybody. <laughs> One moment, please. Let us go offshore. I beg your pardon. Captain Obi, he does this. He calls okay, us yes, from remember. offshore. Remember? Offshore, yes, good sir. morning, from Captain Obi. Very good morning to you, Yuri. Uh, thank you for calling in. What, what's the name of your vessel again? Sorry? What's your vessel? What's the name of your vessel? I'm calling from uh, Le Lagos. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, and good morning, my lord, uh, my lord ship, uh, Oshomo. <laughs> good, good, good morning, Captain. <laughs> Please go ahead, Captain. Okay, yes, I just want to make uh, one or two contributions. Sure. Y you know, uh, they say what goes around comes around. Yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know what they say what goes around comes around. If you remember uh, four years ago uh, during this uh, presidential and governorship election, you could remember how it was violent that the serving police officer was killed at Africa. Yes. And also, one of the newscasters of a channel was shot. Uh, these yes. are the these yes. are the consequences of uh, uh, the politicians we have on the ground. So my advice is that uh, the police, as uh, my lordship has advised, they should go on with the election, uh, not uh, minding the governor and his uh, incitement. INEC should be courageous, law enforcement should be courageous, and organize a peaceful election All that right, then. the world will acknowledge that it is fair and free. Unlike what happened last time when everybody can hurry, acknowledge that the election was seriously and massively violent. That must be. Thank you very I much, Captain Obi. Thank you. Appreciate your calling in. Uh, so, to return to your lordship. Yes. Uh, and, and so, <laughs> that's a new one. And, and so, that's, for me, these are people, it's not, it's not more about the people ordinarily. It's not about the reverse people. It's like I said, it's, um, it's an ego thing between two people who mm. were hit at old friends mm. and it's colleagues. something of a personality cult yes. and starting contest. From, yes, starting from um, the days where they were together with um, Odili and then to the days when um, uh, uh, Wiki was the uh, Obiakbo local government um, uh, chairman, uh, one of the richest local governments in, in Nigeria, and then um, to that, to the days where he, you know, also was with Amechi against Odili and Omeha, and Amechi subsequently made him a chief of staff, and then to reward loyalty, mm. nominated him uh, as a minister. And then from there, he decided to shift camp to a new a lot of the manor. And that till date, it's what is playing out in That's rivers. For the, all the turbulence exactly. going on. Exactly. And so the people should understand that at the end of the day, someday a political heavyweight might come up and say, look, we need to shit our sword. Let's reconcile these two you know, former friends. But a lot of people that allow themselves to be used would have died for nothing like we had seen some people have died. One just hopes that some, some, some entity, some institution, some organ is telling the ordinary folks of River State this. Yes, uh, that's where, you know, those days you would have expected the national orientation agencies, you know, to have been, you know, at the forefront of voters' awareness and education, you know, and then also the voters' awareness uh, department mm. of um, the INEC mm -hmm. also would have been doing this no, and showing doing. the mm. people that, look, no matter the differences that these politicians might have now, mm. that all they, it's about interest to them. And so tomorrow they can reconcile and come back together in the same fold. Look at Ekiti, for example. You remember Oni? Uh, the, and the fire means a uh, 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 case. If somebody brought a limb, an amputated limb to the courts. You know, some people died, but today they are all in the same party. How about a shoe state? And so rivers also, people should, you know, learn from this that it is not about, it's not about the people. It is not about development. Anybody can build roads. And that's why you see uh, it's easy for our governors to, to brandish roads, you know, in our face to say we have built roads. 
People should learn a lesson from this, and security personnel also should learn not to be intimidated. Mr. Emmanuel, holding on from Jalingo, Tal Taraba State. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Thank you for calling in. Go ahead, please. All right, sir. I think the price you people have placed, or is it APC, have placed on uh, rivers is, is so much. That's why the tension is escalating. Are you hearing me? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, what, did you, what do you say is the main cause of the escalation of tension? The price politicians place on rivers. APC is seeing rivers as a big price. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And, um, hello? Yes, we yeah. can hear you. You think rivers right. is so important politically to both sides? To those political parties. And you see, um, um, Wiki is jealously guarding what But wasn't Ondo also important? And they do for that they, matter. They were all important. The personalities involved in this situation are different. Rike is ready to give all the fight the APC is expecting for him, I mean, for him. I see. I see. So, wh what's, your, what's your recommendation? What's your observation? What's your comment? I mean, he's ready to give them the fight. They are, they are ready to, I mean, I'm a, he's, he's, he's oh. even on a par with them, so to say. Okay. Uh, you meet force with force? Are you saying, sir? are you saying force should be met with force? The police should no, not back down. Because police is not inciting anybody. He's just trying. He says he's not complaining, but he's trying to tell the world what is the 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 things that are going on the ground. Okay, 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 okay. Appreciate you. Thank you very much for calling in, uh, Mr. Emmanuel. Um, as in all political situations, there's always backroom stuff. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, people don't are, know about. Are, these backroom stops, stuffs, they all they are all involved in the backroom stuff. You know, sometimes it is not about he who shouts the loudest. You know, they are all involved, and, and so that's why for me, it's, it's my 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 take this morning to the average, uh, you know, um, uh, voter uh, Niger Nigerian in in, in river rivers. states, and and so they know that these people there are backroom stuffs, there are attempts at manipulating. They all have their togs, you know, they both arm togs, and and so. It's, it, it, and, and to them, they see this as a do or die thing. And also, you at the end of the day, natural will turn around to blame INEC. Or no, INEC also shares his own fault. But then, it should be about, if it is not about he who cries the loudest, mm -hmm. if the people refused to be intimidated, mm -hmm. or if the people that are policing also refused to be used, or refuse to be intimidated and say, look, you know what? We are not from rivers or those that are from rivers who want to maintain peace. We want to see a better river state. And, and so, irrespective of what, of what anybody thinks, then we want to provide a balanced and atmosphere. Peace, peace, peace shall then reign. Yeah, let, 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 let me screen in Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson is calling in from uh, Ajao Estate. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning, Uncle Thank you for calling in, sir. And also, good morning to your guest. Good morning, um, Thompson. Yes, uh, please. Uh, the, what I want to contribute about is about the security personnel. Uh, even for the last election that was held there, when the governorship election that brought uh, Governor Wiki has really not been investigated. All the atrocities, the crimes that were committed on that election. Hmm. Nobody is coming to tell us that. These were the people that were sponsoring mm. all the killing and every violence in that election. So, you know, I've got to head you off, Mr. Thompson. I'm so sorry. I apologize to you. Completely run out of time. But so I had to head you off. Thank you very much for calling in. And the point he makes, which is that there's no what, what is this um, what is this word now uh, investigation or, or inve inve so th there's impunity yeah, there's because, impunity because with political offenses and so people are encouraged to continue because, anyhow because, they like because it's on both sides of the divide and, we've and got so to leave if it there. you now really allow to yourself there. you know to be in the middle of the crossfire then you go like that well thank you very much uh, barrister libros Shoma, um for coming in and giving us your insights into all of this um, we'll, we'll keep an eye on what's going on in River State, and uh, that's our program. You can see it. I'll be back tomorrow for a fresh edition of the program. I'm Yori Fularin. Bye-bye for now.